hi youtube and welcome back to a, another video so from the title you guys can already see i want to give you guys some back to school tips for the girls i am 23 so trust me when i say i know like tips and tricks and i wasn't really the popular girl but looking back now i definitely can give you guys some stuff that i wish i did and some stuff that i regret doing and some stuff that worked for me so let's get into the video okay so i don't know but incense have been doing a trick for me every time i'm recording a video so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna light incense because not only do they smell good but it just creates an aroma so yeah let's get this bad boy lit one of the first things I can tell you guys is definitely to wake up early even if it's 30 minutes early 20 minutes early an hour early two hours early i remember i had to be at school at 7 45 7 20 i had to be to school at 7 20 so sometimes i'd wake up at like 5 30. <laughs> i'd wake up at 5 30 i'd always make sure i had makeup on i'd always make sure that i had an outfit together now these outfits were not the best at all looking back but now realizing I still was making an effort into my appearance, okay? I would wake up at 5, 5.30, 5.45, the max. I probably, sometimes I would shower, most of the times I definitely would shower. Um, I recommend at least, depending on like how bad you sweat, how bad your hygiene is, like how, like if you take care of yourself, I would suggest showering twice a day, but you don't have to if you're not dirty but i would recommend if you are living in a hot climate like the south or somewhere that's where it's really hot definitely shower twice a week twice a day just as a girl put yourself together because you are going to feel 10 times better okay make sure that you know you are brushing your hair you know putting on light makeup it doesn't always have to be heavy you know not all guys like that and not everybody likes heavy makeup i personally like the no makeup makeup look because i already have beautiful features naturally so as well when you're waking up early make sure you're you're seeking god you know pray for a good day pray that you know you are going to succeed in your tests succeed in your work you know whatever whatever it is that you are needing from god and god already knows really what you need but make sure that you know you're praying you're seeking him because you need him you know um god is our strength not us <laughs> So the more you lean on his strength, the more you're gonna feel more strong instead of leaning on your own strength and your own knowledge and feeling completely weak and then failing because you didn't rely on God, okay? So my suggestion is I never really had an organized bag and this is gonna kind of go, I guess, tied with whatever, with the other thing I wanted to talk about, but make sure that you have like a little kit with you, you know, like a kit with like the lip gloss, the brush. I like to, this is what I like to carry in my little thing. So what I mean about a pouch, like something like this, I have lotion. I have my own hand soap, the Dr. Brower's, because this is really good and it feels actually really soft on my skin. I have edge control, I have lip gloss, I have blush, I have I have like combination skin. So I have oil blotting sheets. Um, ooh, another thing too, pads, tampons. Um, another thing too is these um, body wipes. I feel like, you know, if you're sweating or deodorant too, but if you don't have deodorant, it's good that like you just have a bag full of like hygiene products and 
body care, perfumes, mini perfumes, all that good stuff because I'm telling you, you never know when you're gonna need it. You never know when your friends are gonna need it. You never know when somebody like in the bathroom might need it and you know, just being um, a caring person and giving it to them because you'd want someone to do that for you, right? So yeah, I would suggest, and I'm gonna tell my daughters to do this too. And I'm gonna actually help her pack it, but uh, when she goes to school, even if she's in middle school, I'm gonna bring her pads because that's when, you know, a lot of kids start their periods. But this disclaimer is more for high school. I, middle school is kind of like, I don't really know like what advice to give. It's making sure that everything's charged the night before, your phones, your iPads, whatever you guys even bring to school nowadays. But <laughs> I sound like an oldie. But yeah, just like whatever you guys feel like you use during the school day, charge it. Your AirPods, your Apple Watches, just make sure all that stuff is charged um, before you go into school. You just want to feel prepared because it's a good feeling even outside of school taking all of the um, time management skills and skills from just organization. I feel like those are really valuable as well. Those are like softer skills, but time management is very good too. Like that's why I did wake up as early as I did because I knew I wanted to do this, this, this. And in order for me to do that, I have to wake up at this time. And it's, it's, you're gonna always need time management, even when even outside of high school. You need to be to work on time. So if you if you know you have to be to work at nine and you're leaving at eight fifty, you're not gonna probably make it. And um, so yeah, uh, time management is also another thing and another skill to obtain. If you know you have to be to class at eight fifteen, make sure you're there. Um, another thing I would suggest is like to bring snacks and waters because you never know when you're going to crave something, when you're hungry. Um, water, juice, coffee, whatever you guys want. Um, I think that more so is just to make you feel good throughout the day. Like if you want a cup of coffee or like Starbucks. I know girls love to bring Starbucks to, to school and um, or whatever that feel good drink like whatever that feel good drink is for you make sure you do that make sure you drink it because it will feel good okay another thing is you'll hear people say don't start up the year strong and start up the year this and start up the year that but don't just start strong in the beginning of the year because a lot of people fall during the middle and the end you know because everyone's like all right school started the 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 beginning of the year is here and I'm gonna start out strong and then you know towards like December you know you start to like or not even December maybe January like when school comes back I don't really know when you break off but it, it most likely is a pattern so yeah don't just start off the year strong and make sure that you are going all out through the whole entire year and do not give up on yourself it may be hard school is hard I've been there I've done that and I feel like I can give you guys advice and make and tell you guys like you know don't give up on yourself even if home is not favorable place to be because I know that was a struggle for me like home was not a, 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 a place for me where I felt loved and all that all that stuff that's a different topic but yeah so uh, try new things don't let your insecurities and oh i'm not good enough thinking you're not good enough to go try new activities or things that are happening in schools i know like there's dances and there's volleyball whatever it is like games activities clubs um anything that the school is having i would suggest to attend even if because it opens you up to trying new things instead of staying in a bubble and staying in what you know and being shy that was my thing i was very shy i was afraid to be myself i was afraid that people wouldn't like me and nobody cares that much you know looking back like you're going to regret not going to these events you're going to regret not going and enjoying your life and enjoying um being young i'm still young but i just if there's one thing i would say and go back in high school is not to be myself and i would want to shine and allow other people to see me because i never really let 
other people see like the true me i'd always just be shy and then on top of that i had a boyfriend throughout whole high school so um i met him sophomore year but freshman year i was single and then sophomore junior and senior i was with him so i never really you know flirted did the whole thing because i was with him and that was okay for me then i guess but um i never went to parties i just was not really that social and if i didn't have track and cross country which if you are doing cross country salute okay because cross country i hated it okay when my boyfriend went to college and i was a senior i quit because i really was doing it mainly for him um but track i i also didn't do track but i wish i did because you know like i just really or did i do track senior year i don't think i did i don't remember um but you're gonna regret what you didn't do more so than regretting what you did do even if you made a fool out of yourself okay find friends that keep you focused you know find friends that are pretty genuine you want to have friends that aren't really into the drama aren't really you know focused on that i would suggest finding feminine friends friends who are feminine and that will keep you in your feminine i suggest finding friends who you know support you and love you and will get you through high school you know and hopefully you guys can be friends after high school um i know i really didn't stay friends with any of anybody back at home um but yeah i just yeah find friends who are going to keep you focused and you need good friends during high school and to make memories with them and go all out so back to the sports now this can apply to honestly anybody sorry i'm just kind of like ashing it out in the uh, ashtray but if you, this can apply to anybody but go all in in sports you know um i didn't really believe in myself in high school again just i struggled with believing that i was worthy i had a lot of unhealed things looking back um, I didn't believe that I was good enough to be successful in, in, and try hard in anything, really, not even just sports. But yeah, so I would suggest if you, if you like sports and you're in sports, give it your all, you know, um, those seasons don't last, you know, the, the season that you feel like it's long, the practices are long, it's not going to last in those practices in those seasons. Um, are going to eventually become memories and you really have to cherish every single meet every single game every single practice because it's not gonna last I feel like a lot of we think high school is gonna last and it doesn't and it goes by like this so if it's gonna go by like this make sure you're taking every opportunity that you can and every and seize everything that you possibly can because it's not gonna last and you really want to make high school memorable um but i do want to say that it gets way better like life high school is not just like you know this thing where it's like like oh high school is just everything and no high school is you know fun for when you're younger and stuff but when you get older you're going to have a whole bunch of like way better experiences but for right now high school make it make it count you know make it count just have a couple more things um definitely to stay organized your locker make sure it's organized make sure your school bag is organized make sure your room is organized make sure your notes are organized make sure everything is organized okay because organization is a clear mind you have everything set and just organized i don't even know how else to explain that and that's just basically it make sure you're staying organized i never really use my locker but yeah i never really used my locker i just threw stuff in there. <laughs> this is why I, okay and just because i'm giving you this advice it's because the organization is something i wish i did okay my bags were never organized um to my workout and like not my workout my practice clothes um my my um 
my locker for sports and stuff was never organized like nothing was organized and I mean sometimes like once every like three months I decide to organize my bag but don't make that a habit you know keep everything organized because you're gonna feel better I promise okay so the two more things is make sure you find apps that help you for studying, for any homework, any tests, any quizzes that you guys possibly might have. Make sure you're finding apps that can help you study if you guys don't have like a study partner or even if you guys want to have a study partner as well as these apps to help you and to make you achieve and make you be great. Um, I know a lot of the stuff that they teach is bull crap, but study because it feels more crappy to fail a test. And looking back, I realized that like, just because you failed a test doesn't mean that you are like, you know, like you suck, it doesn't mean you suck at life, it doesn't mean you're, you know, everything else in life you're gonna fail at. No, it just, it's a, it's a test that's designed by the government, designed, designed by the system to just, I don't know. I that's another opinion. I feel like school is kind of rigged, but I'm here to give you guys some tips because you can't really avoid school. I mean, yeah, you can, but I mean, you know. And last but not least, is not caring what people think in high school. Like I said, you guys are young and I'm still young and I still sometimes have this problem too, but you're young. You're going to care what people think um, a lot of teenage girls are more insecure than girls who are older because um, girls who are older are not every and not every time but they find themselves they're more developed they know their purpose they know what they want more in life as opposed to a teenage girl who's still growing and developing so really I would suggest on healing as well if you do like stuff like that or if you don't care about it then i guess you could deal with it later but i suggest that you deal with it quicker um because the real world is the real world and sometimes you won't have people to rely on but yourself so like i said just don't care what people think go for it do whatever it is and don't allow you know your thoughts to be like oh i'm not good enough or oh. don't do that okay don't i beg you because that is what i did my whole entire four years of my life and especially when my boyfriend wasn't around in my senior year i just completely stopped socializing i didn't talk to anybody that whole entire year really barely um i stopped doing sports like i just stopped and my advice is to focus on you you have to have a balance of school, friends, you know, everything else, but focus on you. Because like I said, high school does not last. And what are you gonna do outside of high school is um, a big question. Even if you wanna take a gap year, if you wanna go to college, if you want to, you know, whatever it is, but don't allow everyone else to tell you what you should do. Go to God about that, seek God, and yeah have an amazing year whoever is watching this and you are going back to school and you needed some tips and you needed some help with or advice or whatever i'm your big sister and i hope you guys have a fabulous year okay high school is amazing and it's to be treasured i don't care how cheesy that sounds it's amazing and i if i could go back to high school i probably would knowing how confident i am now versus when i was not confident in high school and i would i would go all out i would join i would join clubs i would join activities i would be in doing it all because it doesn't last and like nothing else in life you know so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for other ones like this love you guys